Okay, now we're ready to go back to Bio's Domain. I actually had an unsuccessful attempt off screen trying to get a Toy Agumon. Yep, it takes two E's to get a small heart, not just one E. That was a heavy miscalculation. Yeah, okay, not a good idea. Oh well, we get to see the new Digivolution animation. Of our newly Digivolved Digimon. We have the Ninja Ninjamon. We have the Hyperon Centaurumon. And then we got Seafood Corlamon. Yep, still rookie attacks until the next level up. Yeah, it's... Okay, if I can think back to what I was saying about in the previous part, I think I was talking about starters and their Digivolutions. I think I might have left out Demi Devimon, if I believe. Demi Devimon digivolves into Ice Devimon at 0 to 3 DP. And then at 4 DP, he digivolves into Devimon. Yep. After meeting Metal Greymon, you will get this message until this domain changes when the story progresses. Ice Devimon learns the Water Arrow, which adds Water Element Attribute to your attacks. Ooh, another toy car. If you're on a water panel, you will get a slight bonus in your attack. That's the treasure chest. Devimon knows the Dark Touch, which is a upgraded version of Demi Devimon's Demi Dart. Not until the next. Yeah, come back here later on. I'm not going to be able to get the Toy Agumon, per se, or it'll be too much trouble for right now. I could easily get one much later on through DNA Digivolution. So I want to. Now, both Ice Devimon and Devimon Digivolve into my Otismon. My Otismon has the Grizzly Wing. Attacks all enemies, but it is a hefty MP of 18 if I... No, it was 40. I was thinking of... Oh, it is a very powerful attack if it uses 40 MP for an ultimate. And then his Mega Venom Myotismon, or V Myotismon, and the game's gonna abbreviate, is Venom Infusion is an interrupt. And it just does damage. Now I'm gonna be very grateful when I get the champion moves. If I run across maybe three or four Two, four, yeah, three to four, level three, uh, two or three level threes here should level me up. Gotta save up as much EP as possible for this floor. No, <laughs> what do you know? I didn't have to put all that much effort into it after all. But I do want a level up, because it's going to make the next fight I'm going to be trying to show off that much easier. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, 
out of all the out of the three starters, Demi Devimon has the least amount of possibilities, while Patamon has the most amount of possibilities. Being at it's always going to be Ninjamon, then it's going to be Starmon, Wizardmon, and then it's going to be Anjamon. Anjumon digivolves into two different Digimon. If you have a certain... Let's see, it was... 0 to 7 was Andromon, and... 8 plus was Magna Anjumon. Let's see here, oh sheesh. Okay. Yep, Magna Anjumon has the HP heal, or the, the, the move is called HP recovery. Heals 150 HP. Three times the amount of HP cure that you get from Clear Agumon. And Clear Agumon will digivolve into Anjumon, but if you have a certain amount over for Clear Agumon, he'll digivolve into Paidomon, Anjumon's alternate. But he will also digivolve into Andromon or Magna Anjumon. Okay, almost done. So I want to just use the least amount. Even as champions, these guys eat through MP. <laughs> yep. Two, four. Yeah. I'm going to have to hunt for a little bit. But, maybe we'll find some enemies here, at least three, I hope, on this next floor. This floor has usually a lot. There's one, with a box. It would help if it wasn't empty. Hmm. Yeah, it's th this trio again. And yes, Andromon and Magna Andromon both digivolve into Seraphimon, which learns the full HP recovery, which is essentially a 100% HP recovery. Regardless of how much HP you have, it will recover to maximum. Even for rookies, these guys still hit hard. Oh, I must have missed. <laughs> I called it. Let's try this again. So depending on how you want to use your Patamon, if you choose data for starter, you'll either have end up having Prince Mamimon or have Seraphimon as your depicted Mega, depending on what DP you have. And maybe you just won't use the two or you'll just use them as DP material.
And two more will get me everybody. Uh, everybody will level up at once. And it'll save me the trouble. <clears throat> There's the war panel. Ooh, yes, three enemies. This will be perfect. These guys still hit hard, I'm still wondering why. Yeah, after the level up, I'm gonna have to gauge out their stats real quick. Also, to those that don't know the little tidbit, it but even though this is an English game, or was released out there to the in English areas, they still kept the Japanese pronunciation for all the attacks, which I found was a nice little tidbit. All right, next level up. Next one will level me up. I'm just gonna draw him in. On the plus side, every time you level up, your HP MP get replenished. Really nice when you're in the middle of a dungeon. And I'm hoping between the boss battle I'm going to do and then the optional boss battle. I call it optional because it's not necessarily a boss battle but an opportunity. And I decided to use the two toy planes, which means I'm coming back for a repeat return. And I'm going to get two of these optional guys. For DNA Digivolution material. Because the guy that you get here, the big ticket item guy... Metal Greymon knows two attacks, and we will discuss that briefly when we come face to face with them. Oh man, I'm sore. And by looking at the, our current HP, the level up is greatly welcomed. Alright. 
everybody levels up. When you hear that chime, it means you got a new technique. Yep, the ninja knife throw is the counter attack. Solar ray. And then fossil bite. Now be careful because it does not give you a confirmation are you sure you want to finalize. You click OK with the technique still in the learn section. It will automatically be deleted and you'll not get it back. Real quick, I want to check my stats. 54, 53, 38, 46, good, yeah. No wonder. 40, 44. Well, sheesh. Seafood has the worst of them all. Alright, this is the last floor. Bios Domain has six floors. And we're about to introduce the new additive here. If I had the missile gun and a drill missile one, I could easily get the two treasure boxes. Going this way, we have an electromagnetic field or electrospore. Five different levels, each one doing 200 damage. So each level multiplied 200 multiple yeah track could be disabled doomed I'll tell you what, what the ratio items for that is between a toy car a HP or an MP driver and there's also a chance to get a digi antifreeze which is a waste if you went to the right you'd be fighting the real boss this guy is the optional boss one metal Greymon. I'm actually against what I said in the beginning. I'm actually going to get this guy for DNA Digivolution material. Now, this guy, even though you end up giving him a heart, he will not 100% join you. So, once I made that claim, it's time to rumble. Now, this Metal Greymon has champion stats and champion HP, but do not let your guard down. This guy has two attacks. He has his signature Giga Blaster, and he has an interrupt, the Horn Buster. And there it is. Horn Buster significantly lowers your attack power. 4 damage. And Hornbuster is, if you're a real Digi fan, is Mega Kabuterimon's attack. Yep, yeah, this guy hits hard. If you picked Black Sword, You'd be getting almost 50 to 60 points of damage a hit if you are under leveled. <laughs> Again, where Kaboriman never spammed, this guy will spam. If you bring vaccine types, you're still going to be at a substandard 35 plus. Can seafood make it? Because this metal Greymon's having no part of this. <laughs> nope. 
Literally, this guy's AI is intent to spam Hornbuster. Ninja might just have finished it. Nope. Now then. Let's see if he will pull off an interrupt when I have my two on guard. <laughs> nope. He still gives a good hefty amount of bits in EXP, and the verdict is, he wants to join. This one's a tough one, I gotta think real quick, I gotta think here. Okay, since he's going to be my Omnimon material that I'm going to keep spamming and keep getting till I get 20 DP. I'm going to call him. Tomorrow. Omni Greymon. Take a look at his stats. Yeah. Right now, despite being an ultimate, his stats are of a champion. Well, they're they're better than Korslam. Kusilamon, bleh. Seafoods, bleh. And well, looking at his attack, he has the signature Giga Blaster. And then the Horn Buster. Horn Buster is a really nice move, especially when you're trying to wait off for an interrupt. Now, the good thing is that. And this is the way you can be able to beat the counterattack spammers, is that. Interrupts will not trigger counterattacks if the attack is on the last turn. That's a very interesting little thing to note. Alrighty then. I'm going to call it an early stop here. I'm going to off screen get another Metal Greymon. And then go f and then from there if I reach level 13. Then I will show off the DNA Digivolution, so I can start spam- gar- bleh. Bleh. Can I ever say a sentence right? So I can grind off screen a bit, or grind a bit on screen. Whatever two works. Until then.